to introduce our first Silver Circle honoree. Please join me in welcoming Holly Hollinsworth. Good evening, everyone. The 10 years that I spent at WCMH were rewarding in many ways, as you might imagine, but none more so than the riches I walked away with in personal relationships. Now, certainly there were people that my job allowed me to get to know in the community, but of greater importance to me, both then and now, were the relationships with a number of just excellent people wonderful human beings that I was privileged to work alongside shoulder to shoulder in that newsroom. I'm sure each and every one of you have people you feel that way about in your newsroom. The nature of news, like they say about parenthood, the days are long but the years are short. The constant deadlines, the too often grim content, it can all forge even stronger bonds than in other workplaces. The fabulous person that I am honored to introduce here tonight has that kind of bond probably with most people she has ever worked with in broadcasting, because she is exceptional. She is exceptionally warm, exceptionally considerate, and genuine, and talented, and caring. This industry and life delivered her some unexpected twists here and there, but you would never know it, because she is strong. She adapts, she finds a way. She keeps going, and she doesn't just do, she shines. If you want to know how to be a happy and accomplished television professional, as they say, watch and learn. I'm not sure it's the most important part of TV news as it may be the most forgotten part of TV news that I think is the most important part of TV news, and that is the art of the interview. Um, and I'm not talking about uh, breaking news or spot news where you just have to get an interview and get the information. I'm talking about when you have a chance to sit down with someone and you gain their trust and you get them to be comfortable and you don't even bring out the camera or your notepad. You're just talking to them and then you listen. And I think we have really lost the listening part sometimes. And when you listen, you find out so many more things. A good story is a great story. For the story you thought you came for, there's an even better story if you just listen. So I think the out of the interview is, is a little sometimes lost, but very important. When I speak to students, I always say the only constant in broadcast news is change. And if you're good with that, great. Or if you can figure out how to get around it or circumvent it or think of another way to deal with it, but there's always gonna be change. And it's not always good and it's not always bad. And I think that's probably true in life. Um, but the good things hopefully stay or you figure out a way to make the bad things better. I think that's just the way news is. But the most important thing is that we just keep that truth to journalism, the most important centered part. You know, I've, I've always been a positive person and I take that positive outlook with me wherever I go. And I think that was really important in news where you could cover stories that were difficult, sad, hard, where you could get angry. Um, but also it's part of life and you have to realize that um, you have to share those things too. But I think that positive attitude, no matter whether it was dealing with my kids or dealing with the next interview I had to do or a new management team, um, if you really think with a positive way, which I've always done, I think it just gets you really far in life. And I'm not trying to be trite because I really do think it's important if you, you know, say, oh, just look on the bright side. If you keep that positive attitude and you can see things through that lens, I think it's very important and it will help you succeed in many ways. Please welcome 2022 Silver Circle honoree, Gail Hogan. Thank you all so much. I am honored to receive this award because it's an award handed to me from my peers and people I admire. I would like to congratulate all of my fellow honorees this year. You each have done wonderful work in the field of journalism and in your community. I'm also excited to receive this award because it marks a career that I have loved. Being a reporter and anchor, I could share local information, truthful information to the people of Central Ohio, and we all know that truth in journalism is more important than ever. I have a few thank yous. First, to the five people who performed CPR to save my life in 1988. Many of, you, many of you may know these folks personally or recognize their names because honestly, the broadcast world in a way is a small world. So I would like to thank 
Russ Pedersen, Leslie Zook, Marty Moran, Bill Safos, and Eric Grubb. If it were not for those five people, I would not be standing in front of you today. Thank you. And I've never had the opportunity to thank these five people publicly for their life-saving efforts, so I'm glad to be able to do that this evening. Next, thank you to my friend and former coworker, Holly Hollingsworth, who thought me worthy of this nomination. I appreciate your vote of confidence. To Jen Kaiser and Colleen Marshall, who laid the groundwork. Thanks to three friends who wrote letters of support on my behalf, T.C. Brown, Brenda Baird, and Kathy Little. I will treasure your words always. To the many people I've worked with over the years at Channel 6 and NBC4, I'm up here alone, but I didn't get here alone. Over the years, I've had the pleasure of learning from so many people and learning to work as a team, because really, that's what a newsroom is. It's a team working together to put out a news product. And I've worked with some very special teams over the years. To my family, my mom and dad, my biggest cheerleaders, my three children, Connor, Kelly, and Maggie. My daughter, Kelly, is here tonight with her husband, Max. Connor and Maggie live in Los Angeles and were unable to be here this evening. My children knew instinctively how important my career was to me and how important it was for their mom to be reporting on people and events in Columbus. So they put up with crazy broadcast hours, late nights, early mornings, weekends, holidays. I do remember one Thanksgiving I had to work and everyone in the NBC4 newsroom thought it would be a great idea if we would have our own Thanksgiving dinner after the six o'clock news. So we all brought a covered dish, we brought our families, we sat down to our own Thanksgiving feast. Afterward, my then teenage daughter Kelly looked at me, shook her head and said, Mom, that was really, really lame. <laughs> but we were together. Yeah, thank you Kelly for that one. To my husband, Dan, my husband of 37 years, my best friend, my rock, my partner, who helped me raise our children. You too put up with the crazy broadcast schedule and you always supported me in my career, even while you were working on your own, Your Honor. You have my heart. I will share this award with you. And a quick PSA, if you don't know how to do hands-only CPR, <laughs> go to YouTube and in 10 minutes you can watch a video and you can learn a skill that could save a life maybe of someone you love. I have a microphone and a live audience. I feel the need to share this. <laughs> Thank you all this evening and enjoy. Thank you.